Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to Las Vegas, the land of Dell Technology World 2019. I'm Lisa Martin with John Furrier. We're here with about 15,000 of Dell Technologies customers that include partners, about 5,000 partners. We're welcoming back one of our CUBE alumni, Jason Mundy, Senior Director, Dell Technologies Consulting from Dell EMC. Jason, welcome to back to theCUBE. Yeah, it's great to be back. Thank you for having me. So, lots of news the last couple of days. Here we are almost at the end of day two, but you know in Vegas is like a time I feel like we just walked in this morning. So everything talking about cloud, hybrid cloud, we have to have this hybrid cloud strategy. One of the things Jeff Clark talked about this morning and is the five imperatives is that not only do customers need to, to build powerful and modern infrastructure so they can harness the power of AI machine workloads for this tremendous, innumerable amount of data that's being generated, but they've got to have hybrid cloud strategy for multi-cloud. But to customers, we talk to you all the time, these terms of challenge, multi-cloud is challenging to do. It's a fact of a product, Absolutely. byproduct of many things, right? M&A, for example, different acquisitions. What are some of the um, consulting services and recommendations that you guys in consulting are offering to customers with, how do we manage successfully in this multi-cloud world. Yeah, certainly. So the, uh, the Dell Technologies Cloud and the, v the VMware Cloud on Dell EMC is, was incredibly exciting news for us, you know, all, all the Dell Technologies, but uh, also our, uh, hopefully our customers, I would think so. It's probably the biggest news that came out of here. And um, you know, the, the, old, the old adage, I hate, I hate to sound so cliche, but you, we talk about uh, IT being about people, process, and technology. The technology is the easy part. It really is true, especially when it comes to, comes to services. And with Dell Technologies Cloud, we just made that technology component so much easier for our customers to be able to consume that infrastructure and get up and running. But the reality is, is to get to a true cloud operating model, there's a number of considerations, right? So, you know, first of all, you actually do need to have a strategy and a roadmap to be able to get there. And many customers already have that. Many customers are, you know, somewhat along the way, but many also need our help, right? They need somebody to help guide them through that. And so we work with many customers to help them develop the actual strategy. We can build out a roadmap. And one of the most important things too is building out a business case, right? Looking at what are the benefits to the business and the costs associated with it because it is a significant investment and they're going to their executive teams or the board of directors to look for that funding. So we help many customers do that if they, if they require it. A couple other factors too are um, applic the applications and the workloads because of course it is really all about your workloads and your applications. And then the actual operating model itself, where the people and the process are the hardest part, especially the people, right? Because that involves change and we don't like change. And so we do a lot of work to really help our customers. Uh, we'll meet them anywhere uh, along the way in terms of where they are along their strategy or where they might need help. What's the biggest uh, percentage of customers mix, mix of orientation or posture? Early adopters, you know, bleeding edge to in the middle of their journey to just starting. How do you guys see the patterns shaping out? You know, ones that are you know, doing R&D, they're cloud native, they're transforming, kind of bleeding edge, and then you know, ones that are maybe run out of gas or maybe needs to change the tires a little bit or you know, someone leaves, they need some help along the way. And then the early uh, um, people are just starting to look at it. What percentage mix do you see? I, I think probably the majority of our customers are, are smack dab in the middle. We deal mostly with uh, you know, legacy types of customers, um, you know, not the digital natives, right, who are starting from, from fresh and you know, building cloud native applications, um, but legacy types of uh, customers that are really trying to, uh, to get there. And many of them have you know, certain parts of their IT uh, operating in the cloud. They have you know, multiple public clouds. They might have a private cloud, but very, actually very few are probably in a true multi-cloud environment um, because that involves you know, the inter connectivity, right, of all those different clouds. And then, as I said, the hard part is really building out that cloud operating model. And that requires a fundamental shift um, in how they organize, how they scale, the different processes uh, that they build. Jason, what does that mean to a customer when you say cloud operating model? Do their eyes 
you know, pop out of their head? Are they excited? What are they, how do they react to that? Because they have all this existing IT, and maybe they have some shadow IT, they got some Amazon doing some stuff with analytics, who knows? But they kind of are here, and they got to get to there. Yeah. When they say operating model, what does that mean? Common operating model, coding, app development, what is that, how do you define yeah. the, the cloud operating model? Yeah, so it really, it really uh, involves everything. So uh, customers will have their traditional IT organizations you know, built around technology silos. Um, they're really more focused on the technology and uh, project basis, right? You know, executing IT projects behind the scenes to try to meet the needs of the business. Um, a lot of our customers, you know, you know, most of them obviously, are using VMware, so they're starting to get a flavor for what a cloud operating model is. But what it really means is, is to really shift um, the thinking of IT to be more of a, a product-focused and service-oriented organization that is acting like a, a product management team where you're, you're providing your product to the business, which is you know, IT as a service, and so you have to have different kinds of roles, right? You, it's less about the technology. That is still obviously important, but you need to have roles like relationship managers to work with the business. You need to have portfolio managers. You need to have folks who are managing capacity and developing those services, very much like in a, in a product organization that is you know, creating a physical product and selling it to the market. So these roles, people, you talked about, and this is what we talk about this all the time, people don't like change. Change is hard, but it's essential, right? Cultural yeah. transformation is a driver yeah. of all the other transformations. So when you're talking with customers, give us an, like these enterprise organizations that have been around for a, a while, like you mentioned, and you've got all these different silos of data and people with different perspectives. Something like the, the news yesterday, Dell Technologies Cloud, what has been some of the perception from those customers in terms of how is this really going to make things easy for us? I know there were some beta customers. What can you share with us about how maybe Dell Technologies Cloud or even VMware Cloud on Dell EMC is going to help those fragmented organizations even bring the cultures together to leverage that technology to drive that digital transformation. Yeah, certainly, so we, we've been working with customers for a while, whether it's building out private clouds or building out hybrid clouds. Um, you know, the technology part uh, keeps getting easier. So I, I think they view this new development, this new platform as a way to really simplify the deployment implementation and provisioning of the technology piece so they can focus on that harder part. And that's where they come to us and they'll look for help for how do I need to design my organization? What types of new processes do I need to set up? And therefore, what kinds of roles and skills do I need to support that while well, I'm maintaining my legacy environment, my current environment, and I'm, I need to move my existing IT people over into that new model? So I think we can sort of eliminate uh, some of the complexities with the technology significantly with this and really focus on those harder elements. I got to ask you a question. Uh, I was just talking to Michael Dell and Pat Gelsinger on the other set, and one of the things that Pat Gelsinger said that I thought was interesting was um, when I asked about his success at VMware over those these transition years, was he said he turned headwinds into tailwinds. You know, flip down. You know, the relationship with cloud goes to Amazon. Now they're in Azure. Michael kind of talks about the same kind of thing where you know there's new things now coming to bear here at Dell Technology World this year. That's kind of simplifying whether it's partner um, execution or helping customers have that. I won't say single pane of glass, but single cloud of glass, if you will, with Dell Cloud. This end-to-end -end operating model really is a strategic comparative and advantage for Dell. So I got to ask you, what, what are you guys uh, looking at that when you look at the, the, to this show and saying, okay, some things have been announced. How does that directly impact the consulting team? Because I could imagine that your job is going to be accelerated with some of these new things. What are some of the highlights here at the show that you see as really going to pop for you in the consulting group? Because you know, when you've got data centers of service, that's in beta, but still, that's interesting, right? That's yeah. turnkey and you've got VX rail and everything. I mean, seems to be like almost the bundling set up for you guys. E exactly. <laughs> like, what's your take on all this? Exactly, so I think, I think it makes things not only easier for our customers, but it makes things easier for us in the sense that we can focus less on the technology integration piece and get to that, that harder part, the operating model, helping the customers, you know, figure out their, what applications and workloads they need to move over and help them with that migration. And it's accelerating 
the, the, the need of customers uh, to move to the cloud. And a lot of the research that we saw presented this week demonstrated you know, the sense of urgency where customers, they want to move now, it's no longer, yeah, we want to get there, we got a plan, we'll get there eventually. It's like, we need to do it now, how can you help us? So we can then move to that harder part. So I, I, we will see increased demand, we'll see uh, increased need for, for our ser services and capabilities. You know, in the tech world, as I live in Silicon Valley, you hear this term, the glue layer, which is, che which is tech terms for, you got to build software to kind of glue things together. This component goes with that components, proxy servers, all kinds of weird stuff. And the integration message we're hearing here at Dell Technologies is actually to eliminate all this custom glue layer software where you guys are now integrating it more um, fine-tuned, if you will, within the products, but yet they're still separate. You can get SecureWorks, you can get RSA, you can get some things over here. You got multiple puzzle pieces together there with integration. How is that going to impact you guys? And, and of that integration strategy, which one do you think is going to be the most uh, um, popular with customers. Well, the, there's, cer there's certainly the need to uh, integrate additional technologies in the customer's environment. They're, they're going to have you know, CMDBs, or, you know, there's you know, other technologies you know, beyond, beyond Dell that we will help them integrate with if they need that. And then certainly we work with our strategically aligned businesses you know, with RSA, SecureWorks, uh, partnering with VMware to integrate you know, those other technologies. So I, I think the, again, it's about you know, we, it's, it's sort of, um, it's like, a, it's the hierarchy of the, the level of value of work that we, you know, or the value we can provide back to the customer. So we sort of eliminate some of that, you know, baseline work and we're focusing on that more value add. The VMware piece is nice too, you got to like yeah. the VMware action there. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's certainly a huge opportunity for <laughs> us. And, yeah. Yeah. So helping customers make these strategic decisions about their cloud, multi-cloud strategy, if we think about the data that is, we hear lots of different analogies. Data is the new oil, data is gold. Michael, I think yesterday said data is inexhaustible. I always kind of think of it as a catalyst and a reaction that you can use multiple times at the same time. I mean, it's, it's one of those, uh, it's capital for organizations. So when you're talking with customers that say, all right, Jason, help us understand based on our types of data, where we should put it so we can get fast access to it, to glean those insights, to be able to, to, be, to stay competitive, to identify new revenue streams, new product streams. What are some of the, the consultative practices that you guys deliver to help them really look at the, the data as assets that really can drive business outcomes? Yeah, so we actually have some strong capabilities in, in the data uh, analytics space. So uh, a lot of, many of our customers, they understand this. They understand you know, data capital and they understand that the value that they have from their customer data to all of their product data, um, and they want to be able to unlock that. They want to be able to monetize it. So we can help them understand, okay, what, what data do you have? How do you make sense of it? How do you organize it? Let's build an analytics platform where you can start to look at use cases and build out a strategy to take advantage of those use cases and then start to capitalize on it, right? So we can help them with some of the data engineering, we can help them with some of the data science, we can help them build and implement the actual analytics platforms to take advantage of it. Of course, you know, all built on you know, our, our hybrid or multi-cloud platforms. So you're a marketing guy, you must have some really killer customer examples that articulate that value beautifully. Share some of those with us. Um, well, specific names, you know, I, I'll, I'll put aside, but we've helped, um, we've helped uh, some customers with uh, incredible fraud detection, right? Um, we had one customer that was actually a, a power company and they had um, a number of people stealing power off the grid, but they couldn't really pinpoint. It was an incredibly manual process. We actually helped them build an analytics platform where they could look at and pinpoint um, where uh, power was being sown off the grid, and we could, and then they were able to predict where that was going to start happening, and they were able to crack down on it and significantly reduce the incidence of that happening and stop it, and it, the savings were tremendous back to the business. What's your impression of the show this year? Thoughts on reaction to the news, the announcements? What's the, what's the most important stories being told here? I think the, uh, I, you know, the evolution of the product lines, you know, which we saw today, some of the new product announcements is, is exciting, but I think we've really done a great job of connecting that back to um, the integration of all the technology across Dell Technologies, right? So with, with you know, the Unified Workspace announcement yesterday and the Dell Technologies Cloud. I think that is really, 
um, finally demonstrating, or not finally, but really demonstrating in a concrete way, um, bringing to, to bear all the power of Dell Technologies, and when we start to put it together, you know, the, the incredible solutions that we are providing our customers. So we've gotten a lot of, we've seen a lot of buzz with our customers in the services booth. Um, we've had customers come over and ask us, you know, how do we take advantage of the cloud, or can I, you know, understand, you know, yeah. even more about the unified workspace and how you can help us. It's going to be a boom for your us. business, some more, more build outs. Absolutely. More, more work to do. Absolutely, it's really going to, it's accelerating customers' uh, demand for those solutions. And of course, they're always going to need some level of services to go with that. Yeah. We've heard that spirit of collaboration and integration throughout the last couple of days. Jason, we thank you so much for joining us on theCUBE again, talking about what you guys are doing and consulting and helping customers to really make the right strategic decisions to move their business forward. Thank you so much for thank joining us. Thank you so John much for me. having me, really enjoyed it. Our pleasure. For John Furrier, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live, wrapping up close our second day of two sets of CUBE coverage. As John says, it's a CUBE canon of content coming at you from Las Vegas. We thank you for watching.